Procreate 5.4 has introduced something called Alpha Threshold, so let's investigate. Here are all the new settings we have, and this is the shape I used for a series of brushes taken from a traditional watercolor brush. As defined in the handbook, Alpha Threshold changes whether less opaque pixels are shown or not, and at what opacity that happens. So I'm going to open the studio and look for the rendering section. We're going to find the new setting. And when I turn it on, you can see the change that takes place. So let's leave it on and have it at none with alpha threshold applied. Next, we'll do 37%, then 94. So we get an entire range of possibility from just one shape source and a single adjustment. With all these samples, I'm going to combine them creating a new shape that I can then copy and paste into a new brush to build. I'll add one of Procreate's built-in grains for texture and return to rendering, shifting the mode to light glaze, again taking a look at the difference Alpha Threshold makes, and I'm about to edit the brush again so it's not exactly a Procreate stock image. With a final look that could place itself in a watercolor set, we can push it into something more metallic that has depth with your basic blending or highlighting through filters due to the original shape source and its grain. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.